Hi and welcome to Icy Kicks. On today's show we're checking out this look brand new from Armour. It's the Infraction 3S BLX. Now this is a serious bit of kit so we're not gonna be. Hit it Charlie. So we're getting another infraction from Armour, but I know what you're thinking, I'm getting another one. I thought there was some other ones of those, and there is, bear with me, I'll try to explain. But it's a bit of a Goldilocks situation. What do I mean by that? Well, let's look at the very first infraction we got. It was a one seventh balls to the wall, absolute interballistic missile. It was a 6S one seventh scale, did 80 plus mile an hour, and was a total rocket ship, and everybody loved it. But it had its place. You needed lots of space to run it, otherwise it's just too bomb in a small area. So Armour in their wisdom gave us the Mega. Now the Mega was a 1/8 scale, same scale as this, but it had a brushed 9 turn motor in it which was a 570 motor. And then you lot ripped them all out and put some really fast brushes stuff in and blasted them up and down the streets and stuff like that. So Armour um, realised that they could offer you that straight out of the box. And that brings us to where we are today. That's what this is. So Goldilocks, well too hot, too cold, just right. Now being ready to run, it comes with a transmitter, obviously, and this is what you get. It's the DX3 transmitter. Pretty standard stuff these days. Quality wise, it's fine. It does the job. It's a little bit on the big side, but you do get some extra features thrown in. Like if you use the smart batteries, it will actually give you the battery level and it will be passed to the transmitter, which is really handy. I do like that. Also, you've got the brake rate right here as well. So you can adjust that as you're driving around, but also the standard stuff like the throttle trim, steering trim and steering rates. Now the Spectrum DX3 has some tricks up its sleeve, especially around this area. If you open this, you'll notice that there is a little thing in here with some pins. You can get a Bluetooth module that's sold separately that plugs in there. Then if your car is capable of it, it will send all the data to the Bluetooth module, which will then bounce to your smartphone. Then you can get all the speed, RPM, temperatures, and all kinds of funky stuff so that's also available and another thing that's kind of nice especially when people want to use your rc throttle limit you can set it down that is genius so turning our attention to the car you can get this in two colors black and teal and black and gold between the two of them i honestly couldn't say which is better i kind of like both of them so the body's held on by four mounting positions two at the front two at the back and they're held on with these little tiny rubber mounts so you don't lose your pins but be careful you can snap them because i did over there broken already mm. Now the body itself is pretty good quality, polycarbonate obviously, you do get the skid protectors across the roof to save your roof from being worn away when you flip it over, as well as these bars do help protect this edge here. As for the wheels, definitely a double thumbs up for me, I really like this pattern, very realistic alloy looking and the tyres are great. wonder if you can smoke these, I honestly don't know, maybe we'll try. Like its counterparts, it has a massive rear splitter, which really looks the business and adds to the aggressive lines. So when you remove that beautiful body, you're presented with this. <laughs> and it's a monster. Look at it. Wow, I'm so surprised. It's been a while since I've had something as rugged as this on the show, but it's a tank. The last armor I had on the show was the Vortex. And I must admit, I do miss it. I really did. I traded it and yeah, I, I really do miss it. Anyway. I digress. Now, just look at it. Obviously, it's got oil shocks around. Well, obviously, because it would be a bit stupid to have friction shocks in a thing like this. 
Um, the bulkheads are massive. You can also get a second spline that runs all the way across the top to help with the chassis. But it is pretty rugged looking. You've got side protection as well. One thing that's really nice is this. Uh, in my Vortex, I added this uh, as an aftermarket. Basically, it's a bearing that sits on the prop shaft. So when it flexes, it keeps it nice and uh, straight so it doesn't bend too much. Now, looking at the electronics, we kick off with this brushless. This is a 3660 motor. This is 3,900 kV, pushing this puppy to 65 miles per hour. Plus, if you use the optional speed pinion, which is included, you are looking at a 20 tooth pinion and a 50 tooth spur. The whole truck is coming in at 2.85 kgs. So you can imagine at 65 mile an hour, this thing is rocketing. Now, the electronic side of it, well, the electronic speed controller that we have here is a Spectrum 100 amp smart ESC. Then in this little tiny box here, hidden away, is the SR6200 AVC receiver. The servo in this is an S651 servo, Metal Gear obviously, 7.27 kg at 6 volts. So pretty ample for something like this. I mean, you're going to take it on gravel and stuff. You're not really going to be off-roading it on deep mud, are you? So that's pretty much all the electronics. I have to say, it's... It's a bit of an animal. <laughs> so that's all the specifications and blah, blah, blah. Next we're gonna do, I think I'll polish it up and put it on a shelf. I must admit it is good looking enough, but no, that's not what this is about. This is to be driven. So what we're gonna do now is take it out and thrash it to an inch of its life and see how good it is. I'm gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> 